Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. Virgo in this reading will be focusing on new person, so it might be someone with whom you are in touch, or you are dating this person, you want to find out about their feelings, their intentions. It can be also about your current relationship, okay? So please take it how it resonates. Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. As it is collective love message, again, please Virgo, please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. What do we have for you? What do we have for Virgo? This person is falling in love with you really, really fast, Virgo. It feels that they've been waiting for someone like you for quite some time. This is someone who is incredibly attractive to you, attracted to you. They, they, they are very passionate about this connection. This connection can be very intense, but I feel that attraction is quite mutual here as well. You might be dealing with someone whose initials are AA. Okay. Um, yeah, there is something here about this person wanting to take a leap of faith. It's like they see the window of opportunities when it comes to this connection. Um, I feel this is someone who indeed wants to spend more time with you. And they are falling really fast in love with you here, Virgo. Let's see. Could you please show me more? we have so far six of swords six of pentacles the lovers temperance we have four of swords mm -hmm. two of wands nine of pentacles And five of pentacles, page of swords is an overall energy for this part of the reading. So you might be dealing Virgo with Sagittarius. We have Gemini energy so far in this reading for you. Six of swords, six of pentacles, the lovers temperance. Mm -hmm. There might be a physical distance between the two of you. Um, number, oh, number 66 might be quite important for your situation or six six numbers that might be of significance we also have an angel number six 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 so it might be worth checking what that angel number means because there is a hidden m meaning behind this frequency okay so six of swords to the six of pentacles the lovers and temperance well <laughs> what i am getting here that indeed this is someone who uh, is falling very fast in love with you they they want to be with you with the lovers but it's like they might be coming across in a in a completely opposite way because we have this temperance it's like this person might be kind of um i feel this is someone who's showing you affection or attention but um there are moments that they might be holding back oh it's like it's taking time this person to come forward or it's like you might be feeling that and by doing this, this person might be giving you the impression that they have one foot in and one foot out regarding this disconnection. But the reality is that, that no, this is someone here who is very much focused on you. They might be coming across that way. But the cards are showing here that they are very much interested in you. But there is something here about them not wanting to appear quite desperate. 
Six of Swords suggests here that this person wants to for some of you it might be a case that they will come here with initiative with the six of pentacles like oh shall we spend some time together shall we go for a weekend somewhere to during the weekend somewhere you know just the two of us because it feels here that this person wants to spend more time with you but at the same time they just don't want to appear as someone who is desperate mm-hmm I'm seeing them wanting to give your attention, wanting to kind of show you that they attention here is focused on you, that they can be very generous with their time and affection. We have four of swords, two of wands, nine of pentacles and five of pentacles. Yeah, there is something here about this person. It's like they are unsure if you are seriously interested in this connection here Virgo because um, and I feel this that's why this person doesn't want to appear as someone who is quite desperate and that's why they might be coming across momentarily as they are holding back because they don't want to kind of you know look in a certain way you know what I mean Four of Swords, it's, it's, it's like this person here, I feel very strongly very good. They see you quite, quite reserved. I feel they are waiting, planning to, 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 to indeed to come with some sort of initiative here. And I'm getting for some of you, this person will ask you out on a date or they will try to organize something here for both of you to be closer together. But they see you at the same time, Virgo, as someone who's very independent and very self-sufficient. And there is something here about them when they look at you because they are very attracted, attracted to you. It's like, why Virgo would want me? Virgo doesn't need anyone. And at the same time, Vir Virgo can have anyone with this nine of pentacles because that's abundance we have five of yeah it there is something here about them feeling not good enough like this person feels that they might have not much to offer why would you want them hmm. page of swords suggests here that this person is very curious you are on their mind all the time they might be spying on you on the internet. For instance, if you have social media, they might be checking your profile on a daily basis, trying to figure out w w what you're up to, what, what's going on in your life. They might be watching your stories. If you don't have social media, this person is the same energy. They are very curious about you and they are thinking a lot about this connection and of course about you. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Virgo? the magician high priestess and ace of wands yeah there is something here that they are hiding they are hiding their feelings for you ace of wands it's a very action orientated card it's passion it's a birth metaphorically saying of a new idea of something this person is indeed falling very fast in love with you but they are hiding their feelings mm-hmm this is very nice energy magician with the high priestess because it's a little bit of a yin and yang kind of energy you know i feel that you very nicely balance this person i don't know if that's the right expression but there is a balance uh, regarding emotions but <laughs> magician this person is thinking a lot about you they're trying to manifest a change or some sort of circumstances within this connection when they will when the circumstances will be more favorable for them to express their feelings that's what i am getting but you see even when i speak about this when i tapped into their energy when it comes to their feelings i see that passion that kind of wanting them wanting to express their feelings saying how much uh, they care about you and and uh, what sort of emotions <laughs> 
you know, you are, they feel about you. And indeed, this person is falling very fast in love with you, but they're hiding it. With the magician, they're trying to manifest circumstances, favorable circumstances, which will allow them to express those feelings. But you have someone here who's incredibly interested in you. They are falling in love with you and uh, they are thinking, thinking a lot about you. And by doing this, they're trying to manifest this connection. Five of Swords as an overall energy. Um, I, I'm getting this person, it's more about them. Uh, it's like this person feels that they need to hold back now and it might be kind of seen as they are playing mind game, mind games with themselves because I feel this person is quite torn when it comes to them wanting to express how you made them feel or how you're making them feel which is very lovely but they add some but it's kind of <laughs> with this five of swords this person feel it's like they don't want to create self-sabotage it's like this person doesn't want to lose an opportunity for happiness with you and this, this Five of Swords, it's more about them playing those mind games with themselves. Because I feel the part of them is saying, listen, you should just say it how it is. That you feel that way about Virgo. But the other part is saying, well, you need to hold back because, you know, you need to be first sure if it's, if it's mutual. You know, that sort of kind of energy. There is also that energy with the five of swords it's like I feel this person at the end of the day doesn't want to be played and maybe before when they express feelings to someone else in the past um, they were taking you know it's like their their feelings were taken for granted there is something here about them not wanting again not wanting to be played or feel felt or they don't want to feel that way that they made a mistake, that it was too quick, it was too fast, you know, them expressing feelings. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Virgo for the near future? We have an Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. Knight of Cups. This is very, yeah, two of swords, exactly. You see how this energy is back and forward? Look, Virgo. Eight of swords, it's a passive energy. Eight of wands, it's a very action-orientated card. Five of swords, again, a bit holding back, not knowing, try, overthinking stuff. Knight of cups, wanting to come forward wanting to make an offer of love two of swords being at the crossroads not knowing what to do facing some sort of kind of double-edged sword situation this person you will you will notice in the near future we're talking about week two weeks um a very kind of um it's like this person will be contradicting themselves when it comes to actions. I feel that the main thing here is that this is someone who is stuck on you, okay? They don't want anyone else. Eight of swords, two of swords. Not that there is a blockage. They don't want anyone else. They want Virgo. But eight of swords, it's like... <sighs> it's like feeling the restrictions. And then eight of wands but reaching out making an effort um putting things into motion chasing you i see this person being in touch with you then after them kind of ending a conversation or you ending the conversation this person with the five of swords it's over analyzing uh, they are very much in their head and there is a need for them to be quite cautious with this 
because that can create in itself sabotage. And then we have a Knight of Cups. I'm seeing this person, this is the thing. Mm. I'm seeing this person being trying to say something, but kind of not knowing exactly what to say. And it's a little bit kind of chaotic energy. And then when they, when they are telling you something, it wouldn't surprise me that after conversation, this person will sit down and start overthinking it, being stuck in their head, overthinking what they've just said. And they might feel like, oh my gosh, maybe I said something too much. I need to apologize to Virgo when there is no need for doing that. It's like this person cares so much that they want to appear perfect in front of you. And I feel that you are, it's like maybe this person is quite shy around you or maybe they are kind of, it's not that they're uncomfortable, but I feel that um, you hold a quite profound, um, not influence on this person, or maybe you hold prof profound influence on, on this person in the sense of, oh gosh, I'm missing the word. Um, it will come back to me. <laughs> And I do apologize, but um, you see my energy as well. It's like, I don't know what, to, I know what to say, but I don't know how to say it. And I feel this is their energy and this is how they will be acting towards you within a, during the week or two weeks. You will see very back and forward energy, not hot and cold necess necessarily, but I feel back and forward once this person will be very kind of wanting to do things you know with the eight of wands and eight and then next next day for instance this person might be a little bit kind of holding back um you, they might be coming across as some something it's playing on their mind and because of that you might be feeling yourself virgo that this person is playing mind games because it's just so the change is quite drastic here in that kind of approach once they are very kind of, well, let's do this, do that, or they just very, you know, talkative and things like this. And then next day they are kind of holding back. But the thing here is that if this person will come across that way, I feel that they, they will be aware of that. And this Knight of Cups here is showing up that this person, maybe, you know, they will apologize to you that they were kind of, maybe during this week or two weeks, uh, they will be acting that way and then they will say listen I really do apologize they will give you some sort of excuse but the reality here is that this person just it's like they don't know they don't know what to do I think it's quite cute it's nothing here to be kind of you know cautious about it's just them being kind of you know having crush on you or just being in love with you but Knight of Cups here <laughs> indicates that this person will come with an offer of love, you know, at the end of the day. I feel that they might ask you out or you will go on a date with them or they will be talking a lot uh, to you and uh, with you and they will be very romantic. Um, for some of you, they will indeed here come forward with, with that initiative to go together somewhere and maybe that's what it's stressing them out because eight of wands or will be stressing them out eight of wands also can indicate travel and then oh should i do it oh i don't know maybe it's too fast i don't want to mess things up with virgo but at the end they will come forward with that initiative either way wow okay <laughs> could you please show me the outcome for the near future Three of Wands, Three of Cups, you have many repeated numbers. We have 6-6, six, six, we have 8-8, eight, eight, we have 3-3. Three, three. Show me the outcome, please. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. This is really nice. The world. You might be dealing Virgo with Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Okay. So we have three of wands, three of cups, page of cups, ace of pentacles. You have someone here who has pure intentions. 
and I feel this person will prove it to you. This is very much a puppy love. This is someone who's falling in love with you, free of carbs. This is a card of celebration. You know, people spending time together, enjoying their company. You make this person very, very happy. They feel very uh, comfortable with you, free of wants. This is someone who is waiting for the right moment to take action. Uh, for some of you, this person will invite you. Indeed, we have a free of cups, page of cups that offer here. It's coming in ace of pentacles, quite solid offer, I would say. And the free of cups, it might be a case that this person will invite you to some sort of gathering um, event or party. Like, and, and it's like they will ask if you can be day plus one. That's for some of you, but I'm seeing that it can be uh, some sort of kind of family affair. Celebration. The world. You are the center of the world. You are the center of the, of the world. Essentially here, Virgo. This person has eyes on you, but you'll be spending very nice uh, time with this individual, with the Three of Cups, Page of Cups. There will be so much laughter, happiness, uh, joy. You know, this person here will come with an offer, indeed. Ace of Pentacles, quite solid offer, I would say. And it's like, I feel that you will see this person's intentions. But in general, you have someone here who is in love with you. They're holding back of telling you that. <laughs> um, they're hiding their emotions because this is someone who essentially doesn't want to mess things up. Because they truly, truly want this connection. Virgo, I'll leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Virgo, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.